Myself and my husband have a joint account, okay. and the Holy Spirit has ministered to me to sow the money in the account as a seed. But my husband is disagreeing. He says the Holy Spirit has not spoken to him. That's a good reason, isn't it? But the Holy Spirit has spoken to me. The man says he has not had the Holy Spirit. Should I disobey God? Should you not submit to your husband? But your husband God comes says, first. God should come first to him too. You see how you use spirituality to disrupt your home? You cannot sow a seed that is jointly owned. If the other partner does not agree, don't always over-spiritualize everything. If the Holy Spirit speaks to you, or God speaks to you, that should be a confirmation. Yes, so, but I have peace in my heart that I should sow this seed. Yes. You have peace to sow a seed that does not belong to only you. What, what's your percentage in that joint account? It's 30%. You can only have 30% peace. You cannot have 100% peace over money that does not belong to you. The remaining 70% that belongs to that guy, He's going to make trouble with you. So the Holy Spirit cannot give you 30% peace and 70% trouble because he's not going to agree. Why would you look at somebody else's money that you want to go and sow a seed? The Holy Spirit cannot tell you something that will be causing problem in your home. Check whether it is the Holy Spirit. Don't do a joint account if both of you cannot agree over how to spend the money. A joint account where two of you have different spiritual inclination, where two of you have different financial inclination, cannot work. Joint account is not compulsory. Save your money separately, let him save his money separately. If you have to do something jointly, bring your own percentage, he brings his own percentage, and then you do what you want to do jointly. Except both of you agree that if the Holy Spirit speaks to one person, the other person, even if he does not have the Holy Spirit, will agree. Then you can do joint account. If not, you are going to continue to have problems in your financial matters and you will blame it on the Holy Spirit. And it's not the Holy Spirit, it's because people are not applying wisdom. Have a separate account that you can tag spiritual accounts. Let that account be where you take all your money to church if you want to pay tithes, if you want to do whatever. And let him have his own spiritual account so that Holy Spirit, when he's telling that you should pack all the money and take it to church, you have no problem with it. And then he still holds his money if the Holy Spirit is not telling him to take it to church. That's fine. And you will live happily ever after over your spiritual matter.